is Monica and I am here to show you my latest invention. It's called the Copper Mouth. It's the Copper Mouth Mask Adapter. And see how I'm sucking in air right here? Oh my gosh, a lot of you are going through this with your masks. Even with the masks that are lightweight, they're really hard to breathe through. And if you're having to do this all day long, oh my gosh, you can get headaches. It's just really, really no fun. I don't have to tell you that. Oh, so even just this period of time doing this video, this is hard. Anyway, so I have come up with a solution that I call the Copper Mouth. It's an adapter for your fabric mask. It is an adapter for your reusable mask. You don't have to throw out that mask when you for the or use those disposable paper ones. You can actually create an adaptation right here, and that is what the Copper Mouth is. And I'm going to show you. The copper mouth, this is the copper mouth right here. It turns any mask into a breathable mask by using the benefits of antimicrobial, antibacterial copper fabric right here. So we're gonna be replacing this breathable portion right here of your mask with copper fabric that is beneficial and breathable at the same time and super cute. This is the beginning design and I'm working on different ones that'll be coming out soon at coppermouth.com. So I'm gonna show you how easy this is to adapt your mask right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do to adapt the mask is very simple. You'll go ahead and put your mask on and you're gonna see where it lies on your face. And then you're gonna take your little, you, know, you don't even have to sew to do this because I'm including in the kit a, some strips of no sew fusible webbing. And so what you'll do is you'll take your pattern piece right here and you're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and trace this. You can use a, a Sharpie if you want. That's a nice and easy way. I've got this black pen, any pen that you have right here. Um, if you if you don't have if you have dark fabric, you can use a um, a piece of chalk is fine, and it doesn't have to be even be a perfect circle. See that right there? It's just gonna be that's not even a perfect circle. You don't have to be fancy or anything. I'm gonna fold my fabric in half. I'm gonna cut it like this. Look at these are even horrible scissors. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut. If you have scissors that are sharper at the tip, fine. These are just basic old scissors you can get from Costco or wherever. See that? I'm just cutting around that hole right there. And if you have a, a thicker mask, you, it'll just cut through those two layers. This one's a um, flannel, so it's it's real soft, but it's very thick. It doesn't matter if you have a thin mask, it's all fine. Okay, so you have your hole right there, and then what you're gonna do, so easy, see how this has two sides like this? This, you're gonna wanna th have this go in between there. Now, if you don't want to do this and you just want to have somebody who you know who sews or you can have somebody do it for you, but I'm telling you, if you have an iron, see how I'm just working that edge here? Just put it in between. Just like that. Very, very easy. And in no time, you are going to have a breathable mask. All right, so there's that. So that's side one. And again, if yours is, if you have the, if you wanna do a no sew, then you take that fusible material and you stick it between, you stick it underneath the lip right there and you just iron that down, just iron it down. So. I'm gonna do a more uh, comprehensive video on how to put this together. But I just wanna show you that you have an option and it's an easy option to adapt your mask. See how that's looking right there? 
nice and easy. So you'll go, you'll do the one side, iron that, then you'll take the other side, make sure that that's in between, that's all. And then you'll go ahead and put your fusible webbing underneath. I'm gonna use this as an example, but it'll be a thin strip of the fusible webbing in the kit. Put your webbing underneath the lip, literally under the lip <laughs> of your copper mouth adapter, and then just iron that down. And I'll show you, you don't even have to, I mean, you're gonna wanna, if you're gonna sew it, sew the edge, that's it. Sew the edges right there. You can actually sew it with one stitch, sew them both together like that. Okay, so I went ahead and sewed around the edges right here. I'll show you how that looks. Real easy, just stitched right around that edge on, on one side, and that sewed the other side down, and it locked in this copper mouth. So see that beautiful, beautiful, breathable copper Nice, nice, nice. So here you go. Again, you can make your mask into a breathable mask. So easy. And you can do this either by stitching the edge right here, or you can do it by using the fusible webbing underneath there and, and ironing down those edges to build that into your mask. So turn any mask into a breathable, easily wearable all day long mask. It'll change your day. It's, it's just a game changer. So coppermouth.com to find out more about how to get one for yourself. Bye.